All right, people. Now, this is the kind of story that just drives me mad. Drives me bonkers because this is the kind of stuff that nobody wants to talk about that uh, we begin to get subjected to out here by professional killers. Professional gang members who are allowed to wreak havoc on their communities and the world abroad. And they get away with it. I hope this guy is. And thank you. This story is written by Tom Cleary. Okay. A 49 year old active duty U.S. Coast Guard lieutenant has been arrested on gun and drug charges and has been accused by federal prosecutors of being a domestic terrorist. Did y'all hear that? Uh, he's been accused of being a domestic terrorist. Bent on committing acts dangerous to human life that are intended to affect governmental conduct. In a court filing, prosecutors say the lieutenant was inspired by a far-right Norwegian terrorist, Anders Brevik, and has corresponded with known white supremacists. He identified himself as a white nationalist who has advocated for focused violence in order to establish a white homeland and created a hit list that includes top Democrats and members of the media, prosecutors say. Now, I don't know if y'all have been hearing about this because I haven't heard this story. I'm glad that I was just sent this because uh, I, I didn't hear it on mainstream media. So this is what I want you to say that it's hunting season on black people. We're the prey. We're being hunted down by people not only in our own community. And because of that reason, you got the people at large gunning us down because they figure that we don't nobody else cares. And why should we? We'll use you for target practice. And that's pretty much the size of it. Okay? Some of us. No, no, let me. Go. Christopher Hassan of Silver Spring, Maryland was charged with possession of firearms and ammunition by an unlawful user or addict of controlled substance and with possession of tramadol. But prosecutors in the U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Columbia called those alleged offenses the proverbial tip of the iceberg. In a chilling court document, federal prosecutors explained how Hassan appeared to be researching the Norwegian terrorists, studying the mass killer's manifesto, and gathering weapons, ammunition, and other supplies with the intention of carrying out a similar attack in the United States in an effort to become the American Anders Brevik. The Norwegian killed 77 people in his 2011 attack. Prosecutors did not reveal if Hassan had a specific date in mind or an attack and also didn't say how he was discovered. I mean, we're, we're sitting in jail talking about black uh, identity terrorists or, or uh, identity problem. Tell me what black person have you seen shoot up a school? See, and you, our minds are so screwed up by the narcissism that we're just self-hating, like borderlines. We're just cutting our own selves because we can't do anything about the real, obvious narcissistic system that is keeping us crazy. And then we have to worry about this type of stuff from people that are supposed to be in your positions of law enforcement. And honesty and integrity. And they're the main culprits of trying to put us down. It's all a joke. It's all crazy. I had to laugh to keep them quiet. Um, prosecutors said the court do documents that Stop Hassan had stockpiled weapons and was planning a domestic a terror attack targeting Democratic politicians and journalists. He wrote in a letter to a neo Nazi leader that he had been dreaming of ways to kill almost every last person on earth. See, this guy was just sick. He's an aberration to white people. Ain't he? Ain't he? 
or am I wrong? Thomas, the defendant intends to murder innocent civilians on a scale rarely seen in this country. That's what the assistant district attorney said. U.S. attorneys wrote. The case was first uncovered by Seamus Hughes, a former state, a former Senate counterterrorism advisor who now works with the George Washington University program on extremism, which provides analysis and policy solutions on radicalization, terrorism, and extremism. You can learn more about the GWUPOE and Hughes uh, work uh, by going to their website. Hughes, the program's deputy director, has revealed details on several cases involving extreme American ter and terrorism, often finding the information in federal court documents before the media. Federal authorities did not release the press statement or statement on the case prior to Hughes' tweets on the February 20th unrest. This is a violent narcissistic sociopath. He's a violent See, I don't care, like, uh, what's his name, Paul Elon said that if your sociopath is, whether he's in the White House, or if he's some freak about to commit a mass terrorist killing on people because he want to up, big up his white. It's like white. Hassan remains in federal custody. He has been held on temporary detention order since his arrest. On a temporary detention order? A temporary detention order since his arrest on February 15th? The explosive details found by Hughes in the program on extremisms were detailed in a notion by in a motion filed by federal prosecutors. Um, asking a judge to continue Hassan's detention prior to trial. Attorney General of the District of Maryland, Robert Hur, and his office have declined further comment on the case beyond confirming his arrest. The FBI health has also not commented further. Now, this is, this, what is this? this? I didn't even know about this. This should be plastered on the, uh, to the way Bill Cosby was. And this is what I care about more than um, Justice Smollett line. He just hurt his credibility. This dude about to take out a whole goddamn uh, damn it, uh, uh, country. It is not clear if Hassan was hired, has hired an attorney who could speak on his behalf and on behalf of his a wife and other family members, and did I immediately return requests for a comment from heaven? Hassan is a supporter of President Donald Trump and wrote that liberalist globalist ideology is destroying traditional peoples, especially white, according to the prosecutors. He added that no way to counteract without violence. It should push for more crackdown, bringing more people to our side. Much blood will have to be spilled to get Whitey off the couch. For some, or no amount of blood will be enough. They will die as will the traitors who actively work towards our demise. Look into Russia with hopeful eyes or any land that despises the West liberalism. Excluding, of course, the Muslim scum who rightfully despise the West liberal degeneracy. Prosecutors say that Hassan has also conducted online searches for pro Russian neo fascist and neo Nazi literature and made thousands of visits to sites for that information. But here's what you need to know about this food. Lieutenant Christopher Paul Hassan has been stationed at the U.S. Coast Guard headquarters in Washington, D.C. since 2016, according to court documents. He was promoted to lieutenant. Lieutenant! Our records show. 
he was commissioned into the Coast Guard on June 1st. According to documents, Hassan worked in national security acquisition. Federal prosecutors said Hassan served in the U.S. Marine Corps from 88 to 93 and was a National Guard for two years in the mid-90s. Prosecutors have not said what led to the investigation into Hassan on the drug and gun charges. Look, they need to get this stuff out. This stuff needs to be out and open. I'm sick of all this clandestine, diabolical behavior that you people are beginning to, that y'all can just get away with. This stuff need to be just like you run them stories, the other stories. You got to run these. People need to know. They need to know this. This man is married and has children, including a son who served as a Marine. In the, He's probably got the same ideology that his dad do, just like Trump. The criminal complaint has filed against Hassan on February uh, 29th, along with an affidavit from FBI Special Agent Alexandria Toman, and the case was sealed until Hassan's arrest. Uh, they obtained emails that he wrote about owning and trying to buy guns, along with talking about going to the gun ranges and shooting clubs in Maryland and Virginia, including the NRA range. They got a 1,500-page manifesto written by Anders uh, Breivik prior to his attack in Norway. Brevik killed eight people in a bombing in Oslo before fatally shooting 69 people on the island of Utona. This is his idol. This is what he wanted to do. He also researched in recent, recent weeks for what if Trump illegally, what if Trump was illegally impeached. Best place in D.C. to see Congress people. Where in D.C. to sit Congress live. Civil war if Trump is impeached. In September, he wrote a letter directed to a known American neo-Nazi leader. He identified himself as a white nationalist for more than 30 years. The letter was sent seven weeks after Charlottesville rally. In the letter, he said he has been skinhead since before his time in the military. He wrote that he fully supports a white homeland. I never saw a reason for a mass protest or wearing uniforms marching around provoking people with swastikas, he said. I was and am a man of action. You cannot change minds protesting like that. However, you can make change with the, a little focused violence. Y'all hear that, black people? He said, y'all can't make no change wearing uniforms and marching around provoking people. So, People like him don't believe in any kind of peaceful protest, so you, know, you can pick your poison with that one anyway. This is so sick, and I can't even uh, go into this narcissistic, crazy sociopath that you've allowed to be a lieutenant in a freaking Coast Guard, and he has all those many lies and people depending on him to do the right and the just thing. And he's a such white supremacist drug dealing piece of shit. The government is seeking detention for Mr. Hassan pending trial, a spokesman said. He will not be committed commenting further on this case. I don't even want to read anymore. Um, it's pathetic. It's pathetic. So, family, um, this is what you have to deal with. This is what you have to have to uh, contend with. And remember, stay, stay safe. Uh, make sure that you're not praying. What a predator.
because they're out there. They come in all shapes, form, and uh, size and colors. Some of them have a lot more power and control than others. But at the end of the day, we're all dealing with narcissism. And whether we know it or not, it's in our families, it's in our homes, and it's all outside of where we manifest ourselves. And like I said, um, unless you can find a way to go in, You can't definitely deal with what's going on without. All right. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like and subscribe, share, family, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.